In this spreadsheet, I want to quickly identify who has attended the introduction course, but not attended the advanced course. For demo purposes, I've manually highlighted three names in red, Daniel Wood, Mason Godfrey and Edward Moss. These people have attended the introduction course, but not the advanced course. Now, if I switch over to sheet two, what I have in column E is formulas that will tell me in a roundabout way whether each person in column A has attended the advanced course or not. I can use the match function in the cells in column E to find the information that I require. The match function searches for a given value, in this case a person's name, within a range and returns the position of that value within the range. In other words, in E2, I have a formula which looks at A2, which contains the name Daniel Wood. It then searches down C2 to C14, which is the range I specify, looking for Daniel Wood. The zero, which is the third argument, means that Excel must find an exact match. Now, there are actually two other possible values for this third argument. And that third argument represents the type of match that the function will perform. You can also use one and minus one. One is the default. If you use one, the match function will find the largest value that is less than or equal to the value specified as the first argument. And if you use minus one, it finds the smallest value that is greater than or equal to the value specified as the first argument. Apart from the fact that in this example, it has to find an exact match. If you use one or minus one, the values in the range, column C in this case, must be in ascending order, which as you can see in my spreadsheet, they're not. Once the function is copied down column E, you can see there's either a number in the cell or an NA. As I said earlier, the number represents the position of the value within the range. So, for example, Joel Mills in A3 is the first name in the range C2 to C14. Eve Ball in A6 is the 11th name in the range C2 to C14. If the match function doesn't find a match, it returns NA. Now, I don't actually need to know which position a particular name is in the list. However, I can interpret the information that's returned as if there's a number in the cell, then the name exists in both lists. If there is an NA, it only exists in the Excel introduction list. Now, this isn't the perfect solution, but it's a great example for explaining the match function. It would probably be better to display something like introduction only or both courses rather than a number or an NA. And this can be done by amending the function or I could use conditional formatting to highlight the relevant names, just like I did when I did it manually on sheet one. But I'll leave that for another tutorial. So this is Mike from the Excel Trainer, and that is the match function. I hope you found that useful.